Hey guys, it's Tesla here with an updated interactable button tutorial. So this is what we're going to be creating right here. So when we are in range of this button, we get some text and when we press E, it generates an event and that event for me is this chair simply falling. We could have it so this wall could explode or maybe this is going to move up so we can access another part of the level or maybe we just want to turn on a light. So let's find out how we can do this. We'll start by clicking basic here and we want to drag out a simple box trigger. Now I'm going to scale this so our player can hit it. And we want to scroll down here to the blueprint tab and we want to click replace with composited blueprint. And let's name this button. And now we want to add some text, so we'll go add component, we'll scroll down to the rendering tab, and we want to click text render. I'm going to move this up, and we'll scroll down and change the text here. Let's call this E2 Use Me. You can name it to whatever you want. And we'll scroll down, and we will uncheck visible. Now we'll go to the graph and we'll begin by right clicking add event collision event actor begin overlap we'll right click again add event collision event actor end overlap and now we want to create a variable which will be called every time we enter this box trigger so to do that we'll click variable and let's call this in trigger we'll drag this out and we want to click set copy this and we'll paste it and let's connect these guys up and let's tick this so now every time we enter our box trigger this variable right here will be set to true when we exit the box box trigger this variable will be set to false now let's right click and let's type in branch and here we have our true and false conditions Let's drag out this here and let's get our variable. So it's called in trigger. And it says get in trigger. And we can connect these guys up. And we want the text to uh, change its visibility when we enter it or exit it. So we will drag out text render right here. We'll click get. We'll drag this out again. And we want to type in toggle visibility and we'll copy this these two and we'll paste it down here and connect true to this one and false to this one and now we want to create an event dispatcher which we can use in the level blueprint so we'll click these two arrows event dispatcher and let's name this button true and we'll name this one button false. We'll drag both of, both of these out. We'll click cool. We'll drag this one out and we'll click cool again. So these will fire in our level blueprint. So let's uh, connect these up. And that's now finished, so we can close this one. Now go to our level blueprint. Now, actually, we need to make sure we compile, otherwise, we won't find those event dispatchers. Now we'll right click, we will type in button, we want button true, we'll type in again, we'll type, type in button, add button false. And let's add, right click, and we'll add a gate. Connect button true to open, and button false to close. And now to exit, let's just make it so we have some text that appears on this screen. So I'm going to type in print string, and let's call this button.
button works. And now we want to add the ability to actually press the button, so let's drag this one out and call a button keystroke. So we will, yeah, let's just use E. So when we press E, the gate will open, which will give us our message button works. And that's only when we're in range of the trigger. If we're not in range, it will close and we won't get any functionality with our button. And we just need to go to our uh, blueprint, my characters, and components, capsule component, and we will click generate overlap events okay now we have our interactable button I hope this tutorial helps you guys make sure you stay subscribed so you can keep updated with any new tutorials thank you very much